Greetings, amazing minds! Ready to embark on another journey to English mastery with Snopey English? Let's learn, grow, and conquer together. Hit it! Today, we are going to learn cooking expressions about Egyptian Molokia. The first key expression is, chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. This sentence is used to describe the cooking process of molokia. The second key expression is, it has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. This sentence is used to explain the texture of the cooked molokia. The third key expression is, yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. This sentence is used to suggest meat options that can be added to the dish. The fourth key expression is, it's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. This sentence is used to recommend how to serve molokia. Let's prepare molokia, a classic Egyptian dish. What is molokia? It's a green leafy vegetable, also known as jute or juice mallow. How is it usually cooked? Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. What's the texture of molokia when cooked? It has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. Can we add meat to molokia? Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. How do we serve molokia? It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. Is molokia served as a main dish? It can be a main or a side, depending on the meal. What are the health benefits of molokia? It's rich in vitamins and minerals, and is known for its health properties. Listen to the following main sentences repeatedly and become familiar with them. Let's listen to the conversation between the two people. Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. Listen again with subtitles. Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. Listen carefully without subtitles. Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. It has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. It has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. Listen again with subtitles. It has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. It has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. Listen carefully without subtitles. It has a unique, slightly slimy texture similar to okra. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. Listen again with subtitles. Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. Listen carefully without subtitles. Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. Listen again with subtitles. It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. Listen carefully without subtitles. It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. 
We've looked at the key expressions so far. Let's remember the key sentences and listen to the entire dialogue repeatedly. Let's prepare molokia, a classic Egyptian dish. What is molokia? It's a green leafy vegetable, also known as jute or juice mallow. How is it usually cooked? Chopped finely and simmered in a garlic and coriander broth. What's the texture of molokia when cooked? It has a unique, slightly slimy texture, similar to okra. Can we add meat to molokia? Yes, chicken or rabbit is commonly used. How do we serve molokia? It's usually eaten with rice or flatbread. Is molokia served as a main dish? It can be a main or a side, depending on the meal. What are the health benefits of molokia? It's rich in vitamins and minerals, and is known for its health properties. Was today's study useful? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.